down here we want to go look at and see if you have one. I think I may have found the one that you need. <laughs> see, see right here? It's not brown yet. So if you go all the way down into there, right there, and just pull that whole, whole thing up. This is a grass that's both rhizomatous, and so I want you, yeah, keep pulling. Now, here is the stolen. This is why I wanted to dig this. We'll look at this root system right here because these go over to form a colony. Here's a grass that we found here in Walker County uh, that may not be a familiar grass, but it is a grass that grows in low-lying areas, and its name is vine mesquite, uh, panicum obtusum, and the vine mesquite is a very good grass for livestock grazing and for wildlife habitat. Being a panicum, you can see the individual florets, one full florit and one aborted florit, and uh, this grass is uh, high in quality even at this time of year, but it was native on these prairies and it likes to be in the growing in the low-lying areas where extra water will collect. Key, key about this plant is that uh, the, the bigger roots are actually stolons that are underground that make all of this colony the, the one in the same plant. And so the rhizomes move out just like they do on western ragweed and uh, new plants come up. So all this colony here could be interconnected. Another key thing is the it produces a stolon. Not only does it have a rhizome for vegetative reproduction, but it has a stolon, and the stolon, the, the grass will root at the nodes, and the nodes uh, will generally have a tuft of white hair uh, at the node. And looking at the hairs at the nodes, here is a clump of the hairs, uh, and this is on the stolon, and so this round ball forms at each place. But notice uh, it also is reproductive out of that node, and we have a new leaf shoot coming up. So this is one of the valuable things, and telling this from a Bermuda grass or from any other stoloniferous grass that we have in the area. And these stolons can grow up to 35 feet long. And so they can get very long and it helps uh, when it roots at these nodes laying on the ground, it helps increase the colony of the plant fairly rapidly. But again, the inner node between the parts of the stolon will have a tuft of white hair there. So, a very good grass for livestock grazing. Birds will use the seed that are produced because it's a fairly large seed in the Panicum family. It is a native warm season perennial. How many snakes you find? Oh, <laughs>